Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Compact and powerful, gravely built machines have been used in gardens and on small farms for more than a century. Brian Jennings' obsession with the brand is all thanks to his dad, who bought one when Brian was young. That was my dad's tractor that was bought in the 70s. That's what got, that's what got me interested in the Gravely tractors. He worked for a gas company, Texas Eastern, and they used them to mow their grass. And then he ended up buying, liked the, liked the tractors, and ended up buying one for his property. And we used it for snow removal and uh, brush cutting, grass cutting, and uh, I, I walked a lot of miles behind that tractor, as, and he did too. He was always down mowing his, uh, the field behind the house. He, was, he worked that, that thing hard. <laughs> and I had rebuilt it over the years, and uh, over the, probably five years ago, I decided to restore it, and I was saving up parts and, and ended up uh, doing a restoration on it and uh, bring it to shows occasionally. I collected parts over the years from dealerships and I knew I would restore it sometime in my life and uh, collected a lot of parts over the years and uh, saved them until I was ready to, to do it. The Model L was manufactured in various configurations from around World War II into the 1970s. This is an L8 with Swift-O-Matic transmission, which offered the operator four speeds forward and four reverse. The engine is a 6.6 .6 horsepower, and it was a design that was made by Gravely. It was their design, it's a T-head engine, and it was 1937 was the first year for it, and they used the same motor design up until 76. It has a pressurized oil system, with its own oil filter, and that circulates through the engine and the transmission. And uh, I'll show you how to start it and run it. It has electric start, which is a, a button you hit down here, and that will start it up. And this is your forward and reverse. This is high and low, and this is your another high and low for ground speed. So you just hit the button, and you're ready to go. What really helped Gravely stand out from the crowd is the tractor's versatility. With dozens of attachments, one machine could power everything you need to operate year-round. With four bolts, you can change your attachment and go from uh, gardening tool to snow removal tool to, I think at one time, probably when that was new, they made 30-some attachments. You could do anything from rototilling to mowing to plowing, gardening, uh, and they were just built like a tank. You could get under fence rows, they made a sickle bar, you could get under trees, a lot of, lot of different tight areas that you could, could mow with. And they don't have as much weight as a, a four-wheel tractor, and they also made dual wheels that you could run them on a hill, as, on a very steep hill. It's a, definitely a, a Four Seasons tractor, and they actually had a logo that was for the Four Seasons. You could use it every season of the year, and you just needed one power head. In the early 1960s, Studebaker bought Gravely, a move that brought with it brighter colors, something you see on Brian's L8. 64, that was when uh, Studebaker was part of Gravely at that point, and they changed the colors to the tan hood and the orange in 1963 to five. Studebaker liked the flashy colors. So in that year, they had the two-speed axle and it also had a governor and electric start, which was pretty, uh, you know, top of the line. That was a top of the line model in 1964. Gravely's catchphrase was made for a lifetime, and it appears that boast is true when you see how well its tractors are performing today. Although several original Gravely's are still in use across the United States, don't expect to see Brian working his pristine machine anytime soon. I think the best thing about a Gravely is the durability. It's fun to have something that, that was owned that long uh, and, and still works good. It's a shame not to use it, it runs so nice. I'm so tempted to use it, but I don't want to get it, get it beat up. <laughs>